Hi hedgehogs and bumblebees. Welcome to the wizarding world of stories. I haven't got a Harry Potter book to read to you unfortunately because it's in school but I have got another book I'd like to share with you and it's called The Bumble Bear. I wonder what it might be about. Once there was a bear called Norman who loved honey. He really, really, really loved it. And he was always sad when it ran out. But getting hold of more honey was always a bit tricky. If only I could be a bee, he sighed. I could have as much honey as I liked. And then Norman had quite an amazing and brilliant idea. I wonder what his idea was. It was an ordinary morning at bee school. Hello bees, said the queen who was in charge. We have a new bee at school today. Ooh, said the little bees. Everyone say hello to... <gasps> Hello, said Norman. Ooh, said the bees. <gasps> What's Norman done? Aren't you a bit big? Asked Amelia, who was rather a clever bee. Um, I'm a special bee, said Norman. I come from a land far, far away called Giant Bee Land. Hmm, said Amelia. But then it was time for lessons to start. The day began with some painting. Then Norman joined in with buzzing practice before everyone settled down for a nap. The bees showed him all sorts of games during playtime and Norman was brilliant at waggly dancing. And then it was time to go home. Bee school is amazing, thought Norman. He couldn't wait to come back the next day. The next morning was even better. Norman was very good at finding smelly flowers. The bees really liked him. He was so funny and friendly and he always tried his best. Even during flying lessons. Oh, how do you think he got on with his flying lessons? After lunch, the bees learned how to chase away anyone who came after their honey, like spiders, mice, toads, or bears. <gasps> Amelia still felt there was something a bit odd about Norman. She tried to work out what it was. <gasps> what do you think she's realised? Amelia told the other bees what she had found out, but they didn't believe her. Of course Norman's a bee, they said. Just look at him. Do you think he looks like a bee? She took Norman to the bee's secret honey store. Well, when he saw all that honey, Norman just couldn't help himself. <gasps> honey, 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 honey! After all, he really, really, really loved honey. See, Norman isn't a bee, he's a bear, said Amelia. What the chickens, gasped all the little bees. Hmm, said Norman. He was asked to leave bee school at once. Oh, poor Norman. With Norman gone, things were very quiet at bee school. Norman was such a funny bee, sighed the bees. Norman was such a busy bee, sighed Amelia. Norman was quite a naughty bear, said the Queen. And bee school is no place for bears. But later that night, the bees heard a loud crash and a diabolical roar. Oh no, they cried, it's a bear. 
and this bear was big and nasty and trampled all over bee school it grabbed the hive and started to shake it oh no the bees tumbled out in a panic they tried to chase the bear away but it was just too big and too bad but then a fierce and buzzing beast burst through the trees buzz squeaked the bear. It's a giant bee! And it ran away as fast as it could. The bees were saved and Norman was a hero. They gave him a big pot of honey and the queen presented him with a special award. You definitely aren't a bee, said the queen, but you are no ordinary bear. You are, I think, a And bumble bears were definitely allowed to go back to bee school. The end. I hope you enjoyed your story, bumblebees and hedgehogs, and I hope you're all staying safe. I will see you soon. Bye.